All right, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can run a Python script in Sublime Text and how you can switch between different versions of Python that you might have installed on your machine and run those in Sublime. So this uh, script here, this is a very small little script called test.py, and what I'm doing here is I'm just printing out the version of Python that is being used to run this script and a little hello world message. So to run this in Sublime Text, uh, to run this Python script, we can navigate up to Tools, Build System, Python, and then we can hit Control B. And if we do so, we get a message down here telling us the version of Python being used to run this, which is 2.7.13, and we also get our Hello World message. So let's say we want to run uh, this script, but we want to run it under Python 3, assuming we have Python 3 also installed on our machine. So one thing that we can do is we can navigate over to Tools again, Build System, and New Build System, and this will present us with a sublime-build file. So let's just remove what's in there, and we're going to paste the following lines into this file. And the one line that we do have to change is this line right here, which is going to tell us where Python 3 is installed on our machine, or whatever version of Python you happen to be wanting to run. So in order to find that, I'm just going to Alt-Tab over to my terminal. I'll type in Python 3, and this does indeed verify that I have Python 3 installed. It says I have Python 3.5.3. And so what I want to do is I want to exit out of this, and I want to ask, where is Python 3? And so on my particular machine, Python 3 is located here. This is the path. So I'm going to copy this path go back over to the sublime-build file and replace this line here with the path. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file and I'm going to save it under python3.sublime-build. So I'll save the file. I already have a file named python3.sublime-build because I've done this before, but you won't have that dialog box pop up. So now I'm going to close out of that window and I'm going to go back into tools build system, and then Python 3 will be there now. So I'll click on Python 3, and then I'll hit Control B again. And if I do so, we see that the version number has changed to 3.5.3, and we have our Hello World message on the bottom as well.